know, our job as a press office and as an administration is to give you the best information that we have available to us, the most accurate information in a timely fashion. Uh, sometimes the dynamics are fluid in, a, in any given situation. You mentioned some personnel matters. Uh, facts and circumstances changed. We continue to give you guys the best information that we can uh, as quickly as possible. With respect to uh, that interview, I will say the president strongly, clearly, and uh, has consistently denied these underlying uh, claims, and the only person who's been inconsistent is the one making the claims. So please work with the press office to secure tickets if you haven't already. You know, I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, what, what the president may or may not have seen. I'll just say that uh, he's consistently denied these allegations. Uh, joined at the hip with uh, UK on this matter. Well, the president doesn't believe that uh, any of the claims that uh, Ms. Daniels made last night in the interview are accurate. He doesn't believe she was threatened? Uh, no, he does not. What, what's his basis for that, Raj? Sorry? What's his basis for that? Well, he just uh, doesn't believe that, um, you know, there's nothing to corroborate her claim. And, where, Cecilia, and Raj, yeah. did he have dinner with Michael Cohen at Mar-a-Lago on Saturday? Uh, yeah, I believe he did. Can you Cecilia. Can you give us a readout of that? Did I don't, I don't have any additional information on it. So if he Cecilia. doesn't believe By saying that the United States is deeply saddened, uh, our relationship with Russia is, frankly, up to the Russian government and up to uh, Vladimir Putin uh, and others uh, in senior leadership in Russia. Uh, we want to have a cooperative relationship. The president wants to work with Russia, but their actions uh, sometimes don't allow that to happen. Uh, the, the poisoning in the U.K. Uh, that, that has kind of led to today's announcement uh, was a very brazen action. It was a reckless action. Well, um, he raised a number of issues, and uh, we did um, uh, secure uh, with, with Putin on that call um, some positive uh, interaction when it comes to uh, um, nuclear arms. Um, so there are there were certainly positive developments from that call, and the president will continue diplomacy uh, with Russia and with Putin. But, um, you know, this action uh, by the president is very clear. We're very heartened that um, it comes in conjunction with uh, over a dozen allies, uh, both in NATO and EU. Actions like this take time, and we coordinated with, again, over a dozen allies who wanted this to be a joint effort um, in which the United States is joining uh, both the European Union and NATO allies. Well, uh, the United States has issued sanctions on uh, key Russian oligarchs uh, in response to the, to the meddling in the 2016 election. So uh, I wouldn't close any doors or I wouldn't uh, preclude any potential action, but the President doesn't telegraph his moves. Well, look, the president does respect everyone's First Amendment right uh, and wants their voices to be heard. As you mentioned, there were actions uh, that he signed into law on Friday in the omnibus bill. They included over $2 billion in new funding for school safety. He signed into law the Stop School Violence Act, which was actually a, uh, a priority of the Sandy Hook Promise Organization, uh, and the Fixed Nix bill, the background check uh, portion that you mentioned. Also on Friday, the Department of Justice announced a new rule which uh, effectively banned the sale of uh, bump stock devices. Um, and, um, you know, the president is a strong believer in the Second Amendment, but he does believe other measures could potentially be taken both at the federal and also the state level uh, to improve school safety.